Professor George Gatsias is pleased to have the opportunity to share a few remarks about cultural patterns of cultural economy, the models of cultural investment that is Dynamic Investments of Cultural Activities DICA, the Code of Digital Transactions CODTRA and the Sponsorship Chain Credit Tax SCCT, and the dynamic role of cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities in the International Conference the Futures We Want, Global Sociology and the Struggles for Better World, organized by International Sociological Association, Vienna, 10 the 14th of July 2016. The title chosen for his presentation is Cultural Sponsorship and Info Communication Industry, the Code of Digital Transactions and the Info Communication Payment System. He is afraid he had to fit rather a lot into his presentation and so some of the arguments are a bit compressed. He has dealt with the development of digitization of cultural patterns, info communication culture and how info communication industrial sectors affect cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities. He has also dealt with the role of info communication culture, the internet, social media and cultural economy. So he would like to spend a bit more time to explain about the model which called dynamic investments of cultural activities. DICA, and the role of cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment. In addition, he introduces sponsorship chain credit tax model and analyzes the code of digital transactions in the payments info communication landscape. Finally, he would like to recommend strongly that the model of dynamic investments of cultural activities DICA, together with the three-pronged action program digital tax payment culture are important drivers to activate new models for socio-economic investments within cultural activities that is the code of digital transactions and the sponsorship chain credit tax. He pointed out that digitization of cultural activities empowers citizens, visitors, consumers to have access anywhere and anytime. Within this context cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities is subject to cultural patterns of cultural economy which are Consumerism, signified by brands Network sponsorship culture Cosmopolitanism, ideological, political, or religious Multiculturalism Sponsorship culture the above cultural patterns of cultural economy together with the dynamic investments of cultural activities, the code of digital transactions and the sponsorship chain credit tax are likely to establish cultural sponsorship as a value-added socio-economic investment within cultural activities. First, consumerism, signified by brands refers to an infocommunication culture of consumerism which is directly related to the formation of cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities. Most countries now encourage cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment in cultural economy, a sharing of cultural sponsorship values, public interests principles and citizens, visitors, consumers infocommunication culture. Second. Network sponsorship culture, refers to a set of info communication sponsors values and beliefs that gives priority to the satisfaction of individual needs and desires. Third, cosmopolitanism, ideological, political, or religious, refers to a small but influential minority of people, there is a consciousness of the shared destiny of the planet we inhabit, be it in terms of the environment, human rights, moral principles, global economic interdependency or geopolitical security. Fourth, multiculturalism, refers to the existence of multicultural global cultural characteristics by hybridization and a remix of cultures from different origins, as in the diffusion of hip-hop music in an adapted version or remixed videos that populate YouTube. Fifth, sponsorship culture refers to a set of norms, values and beliefs of sponsors that place the cultural good over the business profit and the individual satisfaction of its members on the basis of cultural sponsorships public interest principles, transparency, accountability, reliability and privacy. There are four drivers of cultural sponsorship to define investment relationships between sponsors and cultural organization, which are the parity and security of cultural sponsorship, 
The business investment of cultural sponsorship. The impact investment of cultural sponsorship. The trust investment of cultural sponsorship. First, the parity and security of cultural sponsorship. In order to attract and secure corporate partners, cultural institutions must have parity across their partnerships, based on their own set of parameters for engagement. For example, let's say a museum decides it will only give category exclusivity to partners in competitive categories who a pay a minimum of five hundred thousand dollars and b agree to promote their affiliation this guideline is likely in place because a the museum knows it could lose money if it locks out companies for less than that amount and b it needs the promotional power of companies to drive attendance revenue second the business investment of cultural sponsorship. Certain types of relationships require the property to make sure it does not hurt itself by accepting a gift. For example, if a company is going to give a $750,000 restricted and, or in-kind gift, the property will need to be careful if it is then expected to deliver another $100,000 of marketing value. It could make perfect sense but it also may be challenging if that value is hard costs associated with it in the form of staff, signage, or the like. So the property's ROI is important to consider. It is not a matter of making the property's internal structure the company's problem, but rather ensuring the value exchange is fair. Third, the impact investment of cultural sponsorship. Following the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill, writers posted many an article about BP's, and other oil, gas companies, relationships with zoos and aquariums, questioning their appropriateness. Certainly there are considerations to make related to whether a mission-based organization wants to help drive the business of companies that may not be sufficiently aligned with its mission. Fourth, the trust investment of cultural sponsorship. All properties must be clear about their relationships with companies. While most museums do a decent job at this, the sector as a whole can always be sharper and clearer. If a company's funds make a program or experience possible, it is important to say so. If they are running a promotional campaign, they should be clear about what their relationship is. Did they pay for the exhibit? Are they working to get the word out about the exhibit because they want to bring it to their customers and potential customers? Did their experts serve as thought partners, or are their products featured in it? Is it something the company wants to do to honor their employees or enhance their community? Within this context, cultural sponsorship depends on satisfaction of cultural sponsors' needs and desires, and a stating investment in digitization of cultural activities. In a world of change, info communication culture and cultural sponsorship do not emerge passively, at random. Info communication cultural and sponsorship as value-added socio-economic investment within cultural activities develops out of digital technology, public interest principles and of people doing things together, because of a collective need of share passion in a democracy of collective will, DCW. Furthermore, the culture sponsorship as a value-added socio-economic investment within cultural activities develops out of info-communication industrial sectors that is info-communication content, devices, services networks and security in a democracy of collective will when companies interact together on physical and digital platforms by finding ways to sponsor together and to negotiate differences to create share meanings of cultural sponsorship as an socio-economic investment within cultural activities. For example, cultural sponsorship spending on music tours, venues and festivals was expected to total $1.4 billion in 2015, up 4.8% from 2014. Spending was largely driven by two factors continued interest in national music festivals and a growing appetite for regional music fests, some of which have secured significant deals with national brands. Non-alcoholic beverages replaced beer as the most active category, while Anheuser-Busch replaces the Coca-Cola company as the most active sponsor. Coke is now the fifth most active sponsor of music. One new company joins the most active sponsors list, Uber. 
the rideshare app has significantly expanded its presence on the music festival scene with deals with Live Nation, Lollapalooza and the Sasquatch Music Fest, just to name a few. Professor Gatsi has pointed out, that info communication industrial sectors are the driving force to establish cultural sponsorship as a socio-economy investment within the cultural activities. Within this context cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment in info communication culture is subject to info communication content of cultural sponsorship, I3CS. Info communication services of cultural sponsorship, ISCS. Info communication sponsors behavior, ICSB. Cultural sponsorship is an info communication investment CSICI. First, info communication content of cultural sponsorship, I3CS. Digital content such as cultural data will be dispersed across an info communication landscape, that is in cultural organizations, cloud computing providers, third parties, etc. The DICA model will establish public interest principles and effectively best practice rules for transparency, reliability, accountability in order to monitor cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within a cultural activity. Second, info communication services of cultural sponsorship. The cultural activities network infrastructure is likely to improve distribution of cultural sponsorship services by improving cultural activities management and financial systems, including faster and lower cost geographical expansions. Moreover, it will introduce mobile applications and social media networks to develop cultural sponsorship services to finance cultural activities both locally and globally. The DICA model will set up info communication networks which empower cultural managers to develop a roadmap to create a valuable strategy to manage effectively cultural sponsorship as a value-added socio-economic investment within cultural activities in recent crisis. Third, Info communication sponsors behavior. Internet of Things, cloud computing services and mobile applications are placing cultural activities in the payments info communication landscape. Cultural sponsorship applications for digitization of cultural activities are a reality in our everyday life. They enable cultural managers to track and analyze everything from keystrokes to sponsors behavior towards digitized content and services of cultural activities. This brings opportunities for introducing the DICA model in order to develop more sophisticated digitized best practice mechanism and mobile applications to monitor and evaluate cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities on real time. Fourth, cultural sponsorship is an info communication investment CSICI. Organizing cultural sponsorship as an info communication investment process can greatly influence cultural activity overall success and quality. In this work, we need to consider info communication cultural activities, those that digitalized by using information and communication technologies, ICT, tools, and cultural sponsorship as a valuable socio-economic investment within a cultural activity. The cultural sponsorship is a value-added investment that lead to cultural sponsorships relationships between cultural managers, visitors and sponsors, investors to reinforce cultural activities together with tax credit policy in a world of change. The info communication industrial sectors, social media and mobile applications are offering access to a vast array of information, text and audiovisual material and given people an info communication public sphere ICPS, to share and exchange ideas, and to collaborate on projects together. Humans gained a huge evolutionary advantage when we developed info communication cultural memory systems ICCMS such digitized writing and drawing giving as a digital way to record, share and manipulate ideas. Within this context culture sponsorship as a socio-economic investment in info communication culture would gain a huge advantage when governments introduce the sponsorship chain credit tax model in their national tax systems to accelerate investment in cultural economy.
The sponsorship chain credit tax is a model to refer to a new credit tax system for sponsorship investment networks which can be activated by using the smart sponsorship chain application and the code of digital transactions that activate the global smart currency that is global info cash in the payments info communication landscape. Within this context all digital payment systems from credit cards based on magnetic stripe technology to radio frequency ID chips used to store value and, or access a remote account, to mobile phones used in various ways as carriers of money, or airtime minutes, text messages and other things that can be transferred from mobile to mobile as a form of currency, to mobile point-of-sale terminals reverse engineered to serve as a channel for banking and financial services would be able to use the smart sponsorship chain technology to activate the sponsorship chain credit tax model. Therefore, in order to develop cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities need innovative models such as the DIC together with the sponsorship chain credit tax. The Info Communication Research Society recommends a new model for monitor and evaluating cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities that is the Digital Investments of Cultural Activities Model DICA. According to the model DICA, the four drivers, which they contribute to develop cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities, are First, Identity Process IDP, the process of creating the specific identity of cultural activity by planning, organizing, implementing, monitor and evaluating cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities. Second, Innovation Process INP, the process of using digital technologies and applications to manage and promote cultural activities that is info communication platforms for cultural activities to manage digital content, to develop mobile applications and to create global and local info communication networks. Third, Global Impact Factor of Cultural Activities Investment Process GIFCAIP. The process evaluates the local touch with global reach socio-economic investments within a cultural activity by setting up an index of local and global impact factors about competitive and comparative advantages. The index of GIFCAIP consists of a global and local public interest factor GLPIF, b identity factor IDF, c innovation factor INF, d Info Communication Culture Factor, ICCF, D, Global and Local Growth of Cultural Production Factor, GLGCPF. Fourth, Public Interest Process, PIP, the process of establishing transparency, reliability and accountability of cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities. The model shows that cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities is created. First when there are info communication applications and platforms to develop a digitalized cultural activity, innovation process. Second, when there is local touch with global reach impact factor index to invest in a cultural activity, global impact factor of cultural activities investment process by using the code of digital transactions, and third, when there is a regulation policy which supports the public interest principles of cultural sponsorship to encourage cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities, public interest process, and fourth, where there is a specific identity to support competitive and comparative advantages of cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities, identity process. Finally, these four drivers are subject to creating, managing, investing and sharing cultural activities content as a cultural sponsorship investment in a world of change. Within this context sponsors investing in cultural activities and interacting to learn and form meaning together. Furthermore, the DIC axes define a cube-shaped probability space, where a local touch with global reach identity, suitable innovation, and effective public interest principles of cultural activities have a positive or negative impact on the cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities. Within this context, 
The white spot in the upper right-hand corner of the cube represents the maximum likelihood that cultural sponsorship for socio-economic investment within cultural activities will occur. The model assumes that a high level of identity process, a highly appropriate innovation process, and highly effective public interest process are necessary for the expected target cultural sponsorship as in socio-economic investment within cultural activities to occur, and that the investment does not occur and it is not possible to monitor and to evaluate by the code of digital transactions and the sponsorship chain credit tax models when more than one of these drivers is missing. Finally, the figure presents the three basic factors that, when taken together, can make cultural activities more valuable as a socio-economic investment in cultural economy. Professor Gatsias points out that both the three-pronged action program Digital Tax Payments Culture and the DICA model for monitor and evaluate cultural sponsorship as an socio-economic investment within a cultural activities are important methodological tools in analyzing cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities. Within this context the model sponsorship chain credit tax asserts that in order for a target socio-economic investment within cultural activities to occur, a cultural manager and a tax people must understand. First, how to create cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within a cultural activities by activating the sponsorship chain applications and technologies. And second, how the code of digital transactions activates the global smart currency that is Global Info Cash GIC, in the payments info communication landscape. Cultural activities, which have been active in Greece and Europe for nearly two centuries, have been managed and financed in many countries through specific socio-economic forms. The label that is used to refer to cultural sponsorship as an socio-economic investment within a cultural activities is the cultural economy of info communication cultural activities CEICA, a term that stresses the special attention not only to the info communication culture but also to the model of managing and financing cultural activities DICU and the sponsorship chain credit tax model. In recent crisis cultural managers should be able to have practical solutions to the following question. Why should global or local sponsors seriously consider financing cultural activities by taking into consideration the models DICA and SCCT? In conclusion, DICA, SCCT and CODDTRA innovative models provide a new way of setting up a global and local credit tax system to activate cultural sponsorship as a socio-economic investment within cultural activities. Therefore, the activation process of cultural sponsorship investment is first, flexible. The activation process is flexible to develop cultural sponsorship to finance cultural activities with local touch and global reach impact, by using the sponsorship chain credit tax and the digital investments of cultural activities models. Second scalable, the activation process is scalable by using the digital tax payment culture program to create a credit tax info communication application for cultural sponsorship investments both locally and globally. Third survivable, the activation process to monitor and evaluate cultural sponsorship investment by using the DICA, SCCT and CODTRA models in a world of change.